Good morning, welcome back to a new vlog. So I'm getting set up to do my makeup. I have my handy dandy mirror right here. I'll link it down below. You guys always ask where this mirror is from. I just got it from Amazon and it's like by far like the best like makeup vanity mirror and it's small too. It doesn't take up like a ton of space. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you my quick five minute makeup. This is a makeup look that I've been loving to do since Hawaii. So it's been what, three months now? Of me doing this and I love it so much like if I'm not doing a full face of makeup this is kind of like what I do instead or I just do bare face as well but what's been going on is this week I don't feel very motivated I've been feeling just very tired and unmotivated and I think it's just because I haven't been getting ready so I made a point to like change my clothes I washed my hair last night and we're just gonna like put a little bit of makeup on to hopefully help motivate me a little bit more and be productive today get myself out of like this little rut I am breaking out a little bit on my face as well I probably should just let it breathe but I've been staring at it for a few days. It's not going away. So we're gonna cover it up so I don't have to look at it for a day. <laughs> but yeah, I love this look. It's pretty much just like my go-to look that just doesn't have foundation. I use a lot of the same products I do for doing like my full face of makeup. There's no need to get all new products to do less makeup. You know what I mean? Like your no makeup makeup. There's only I think like one or two products that are different that I don't use for like my full face. But anyways, let's just go ahead get into it my ride or die concealer that i've been using legit for over 10 years has been the mac pro longwear i just cannot find a better concealer this is just the best i do have the dior forever this one is really good but still not as good as the other one and i do have like the nars radiant i use these two as well for like other things i'm a little bit weird I like to have multiples of each thing in my makeup kit. I don't understand why. So I'm just going to go in with concealer and like spot conceal essentially. So I'm going to go like underneath my eyes. I'm going to go on my forehead, my chin, my nose. I'm going to try to cover up like my breakouts as well. So kind of everywhere without it not necessarily being everywhere. I just like to balance it out, especially if you're using concealer and all like the other spots. Let's see if we can even do this today because I did like a, a retinol treatment on my face and my face has been like peely too. And then I'm just using the Sephora Pro Airbrush Detail number 57 brush. Just dab it in because I don't want to like smear it all over. I like where I put it is exactly like where I want it to be concentrated, you know? So I don't like brush it like that. Plus that kind of like irritates your skin too. So try to avoid any of that irritation. Oliver's eating behind me. So sorry if you hear him. That's pretty much it. Let's just try to go over this part of my nose because this one's so bad. I mean, you're still gonna see it. This doesn't like cover it up completely. Okay, next up, I'm gonna do like a cream contour. 
My favorite one to use is the Anastasia. I think it's like a contour stick. It's the stick foundation, but it's the contour one. I use shadow. This is like the best color for my skin tone. I also like mink, and I think that there's another one as well that's pretty, but this one like blends in the best. So I'm just kind of doing like the upper half of my face here. And then I'm gonna use the Smashbox cream cheek brush. And then yes, for this, I do kind of like a mix of like rubbing and patting in. I'm not a fan of the rubbing, but like I said, that's the only way it all like fully blend in. I feel like this just always gives me so much color back to my face. I freaking love it. I'm gonna go in and set my face. I like the pretty vulgar translucent powder. I use this for like my full face of makeup as well. I have to set my face no matter like what I do. I'm an oily bitch. I get so much oil in like my t-zone and stuff so no matter what i do i have to set it i do put on like less powder than if like i was doing a full face of makeup i really just concentrate this in my t-zone a light little dusting no baking none of that and then we are going to do additional bronzer my favorite i love bronzing my face so i use the hourglass ambient luminous bronze light i use this for my full face of makeup too love this brush it's the smith brushes and it's the 118 i think that this is not meant for like bronzer but that's like what i use it for it's like the perfect shape i like this one because it has like a little bit of a shimmer to it so it helps to like add kind of like a highlight to your face. I always get a lot of compliments when I wear this. So we're just gonna put this where we normally put bronzer, pretty much where I put all of the cream bronzer and this kind of like helps to set in the cream bronzer as well. There we go. And then for good luck, we're gonna go in with another one on top. This is the Bobbi Brown bronzer in the shade One Natural. I'm just gonna go over top everything I just did. This one's like matte, so I don't know why I do it. I just like the two combined so much. And then we're gonna go in and do eyebrows next. This is something I always go back and forth on. I either do like the full eyebrow look I do when I do my full face of makeup, so meaning I'll go in with my brow whiz and then I'll go in with the clear brow gel and then I'll also go in with the NARS creamy radiant concealer to like give it shape that's typically what i do um but sometimes i switch it up and i just do the brow whiz and then i do the anastasia brow freeze kind of just like depends on my mood to be honest we'll see what i end up doing right now but yeah i'm just gonna put my eyebrows on i need to move this closer no matter what i need to like line underneath Help give it shape again. Okay, let's go in with the brow freeze because it sounds like a good idea. So I usually just take like one of these little spoolie things. This just happens to be the Anastasia brush number 12. Dip it in here a little bit. Scoop this back. And then just start to like apply up. Look how long my eyebrows are. It takes a minute to like mess with this and then put your eyebrows in the position that you want it to be in. And then I start to like kind of lay down the top a little bit. Kind of like that. Like I just could not leave it like this at all. Like where all the hairs are like fully up. I just don't think I can pull it off. What do you guys think? I always just like lightly try to like lay them down a little bit. Cool. And then I think that they look pretty good. Honestly, you don't want them to be like super filled in for this sort of look. But if I notice like any sparse area, I would go back in with this afterwards. Like maybe like right here. I think I am still going to take the NARS Creamy Concealer and lightly go underneath the brow just to like define it a little bit more. Where's the brush I use? This is like a brush that I've had for like 20 years. No joke. I think it's like a super old one that I got from like Clinique or something. And then I kind of skipped it when I had this out, but I go in with a Bobbi Brown bronzer on my eyelids just a little bit. No rhyme or reason. I kind of just like throw it on. Perfect. And then I'm going to go in with blush. This is one. Oh my 
god you guys this makes me so sad to even say it this is a blush that's from mac it's called margin it's by far my favorite blush i've ever found in my entire life they discontinued it so i'm terrified now that when this runs out what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna start finding like dupes for it now like sooner rather than later even though i'm nowhere close to running out just gotta prepare yourself and then we're gonna put on some mascara this is the hourglass caution mascara my favorite by far i just feel it's like the blackest black and it just stays it doesn't crumble throughout the day it's easy to get off and i just do it my upper lashes only and i try to focus on the outer too to give it a little bit of a flick and then i think lastly i just put on some lip balm i don't typically put on like any lip liner lipstick nothing just go all natural you know i guess i will set my face a little bit and i like to use a little handheld fan to help me dry it <laughs> simple as that you guys i just like it so much because you can just see like all my natural skin like peeking through but then you still have like some bronze and highlight as well i need to um put dry shampoo in my hair but i think i'm honestly just gonna leave it like this otherwise i'm not gonna straighten it or do anything with it no hot tools for today so yeah that's kind of like my finished five minute makeup obviously it took a little bit longer because i was explaining it but it's so easy if you guys try it definitely let me know but yeah it's my go-to when i don't want to put a full face of makeup on i freaking love it we're back at the same spot i've been working for a while but i want to take a break because i have so many beauty and makeup products that I picked up that I want to share with you. I got it mostly from Sephora, but also Nordstrom as well. And I know you're probably thinking, girl, why did you just show me like a five minute makeup routine? And then now you're showing me like new makeup. Good reason for this. I love that routine and I just like love like the way it works. This is like the products that I found that like work best for my face like to do this look and it's been my tried and true look that I've done over the like the last three months so I had to show you what I use to do this but I wanted to pick up a few things just to try out. Like it's always nice to try new products and see if there's things that you can rotate through, see if there's anything that you find that's better. You know what I mean? And this is both for this like natural makeup that I do, but also for like rotating out products for like my full face makeup that I do. I have a massive <laughs> bag of products. It's kind of like when you start to buy them, especially online, it's like really easy for it to get out of control really fast. So, oof, okay. We will try not to spend that much time here on this. Let me get everything out and organized and then we'll start. I grouped it into brands. So let's go ahead and start with Giorgio Armani. So we got the Neo Nude um, True to Skin and Natural Glow Foundation. I got it in the shade five. The word glow kind of freaks me out a little bit because I feel like for that, for me, with someone that has oily skin, it just makes it end up looking oilier at the end of the day. But for some reason, this looked like it would be, I don't know, just like super light and pretty. Well, that's way too much instead of like spot concealing it can be like a nice layer that i put all over you know so this is the color the consistency is really nice actually it looks like it might be a little dark though okay i'm excited to see that it seems kind of like um very liquidy kind of like watery in a way it's not like thick you know the next was the high coverage stretchable concealer the power fabric concealer what shade did i get this in i got it in shade three so this is like the packaging. Again, I love looking for concealers and trying out new concealers. I'm excited to try this one. I believe with the Power Fabric, this is made specifically for those with like combination skin and even those with the oiler skin types as well. So I think that's why I wanted to try it. This is what the color looks like. Very lightweight. The color seems like very on par. Blends out really nice as well. I'm actually really excited to try that one. <sighs> Bold to switch it out from, from my uh, MAC Pro Longwear, you know? multi-purpose glow concealer luminous silk oh i don't know why i got this one this one's like gonna be way too glowy for me what shade did i get this one in four i wonder why i did that four and three but it seems like a similar color Ooh, this one's thicker that one seems nice too the other one dries down definitely more matte this one has like a little bit of a sheen to it 
I'll try that one out though as well. And then I've always been interested in the Power Fabric Long Wear High Coverage Foundation from Giorgio Armani. I got this in a shade 5. This might be too dark. It's the same shade as the Neo Nude one. Yeah, look how... Look how dark this is. Carissa, why did you think you were a 5? You know, it looks right when you're looking at like the the pictures. <laughs> online and like the color description i'm a very neutral tone i'm not cool and i'm not warm i'm right there in the middle it looks darker in person than it does on camera this kind of has like a, a velvety feeling to it it's definitely thicker as well it feels thicker than my holy grail um lancome one that i use oh i don't know if i'm gonna like how thick that is I'm gonna have to use a lot less of it and like really blend it out. And then next I got this Lancome Miracle Natural Skin Perfection Foundation. It's like a really light coverage one. I got this in the shade 140 Ivory 4N. So this is my Holy Grail foundation. This is like try to chew if this would ever focus. Best foundation ever. I've been using it for years and years and years. This is the new one that I just picked up. So this I wear right now in the summertime because I still kind of have my tan, 250, which is interesting because this is a warm one. But somehow, because of the oxidation and everything, it just ends up like working out perfectly. But this one seemed like the closest match. Oh, that's nice. It has a nice like smell to it. Refreshing, very lightweight. You can see it's like not a lot of coverage either. Kind of just like blending a bunch of like stuff all over my hand at this point. I'm excited to try this. I feel like this is kind of in competition with the Neo Nude as far as like coverage and stuff. So it's exciting to try. And then I also got two of the Ultra Wear concealers from Lancome. This is the exact same line as my like Holy Grail foundation. They just came out with this and I got it in the two shades that I get my foundation in i got it in 215 which is kind of like my winter one and then 250 the one i just shared with you these are the ones i actually opened these ones already and swatched them on my hand even like the lightest one 215 it's way darker than my foundation for some reason like look how dark that is no it doesn't feel as nice as the georgia Armani ones that i was swatching so i don't know how excited i am to actually try these ones out i thought they would work but i don't think that they are going to but I need to try it on my face with my whole makeup to see how it wears and all that sort of stuff. These are two things that I also ended up opening up and trying. You know, like this morning when I was sharing with you the Anastasia contour stick that I use. This is like a similar concept. It's the foundation sticks. And so I got it in 420 and also 450. So these are for darker skin tones, but I figured if you get a darker shade, it could be used as a contour as well, you know? These ones are just like not the right shade for me at all. They're just like... Um, I feel like they're really warm and also a little deep too. I think I needed to get something lighter. They are so smooth to blend out, like super easy. Oh, the shade looks really pretty, but on me, it just makes it look like really muddy and it just doesn't fit. I like these a lot. I think I just would need to get like the right color. This is a lot easier to blend out than the Anastasia one, but shade wise, like I like my Anastasia one more. And then kind of like what I was mentioning this morning with my MAC Margin Blush, I need to start finding a dupe for it because if I run out of that and I don't have a replacement for it, I'm going to be so mad. So these online looks kind of close. This is Luster and also Tempted. Has a little bit of a shimmer in it too. Super pretty. Let's compare it. This is the MAC one. So this is clearly... Like more orangey and this is like more pink okay so we'll get there eventually i'm still curious to like try this on my face though to see if it works or if it's too orange you know and then with the tempted one this looks way more shimmery than the other one it looks really pretty though here it is compared to the mac one I don't know. That one looks a little bit closer. What do you think? And then I also thought I wanted to get into like more of the cream blush for this like sort of natural makeup that I like to do. So I got the cheek slime in the color Cuffed from Freck Beauty actually. This I did end up whipping out and trying. I do not like it at all. It is very, very, very pigmented. So a little bit goes a very, very long way. But for some reason it just like 
did not look good on me at all like this shade i don't know what it is about it it just like i think with the red already that i naturally get on my face mixed with this it just did not look good it's pretty concept though i just cannot get cream blushes to work for me though and then for Anastasia, I got a few other things. I got the Liquid Glow Highlighter in the color Peach Fuzz. This, I think I tried out uh, on my hand as well. It doesn't blend in as nice and this shade it just doesn't work for my skin tone. And it was kind of like hard to like blend out on my face, but it's kind of, it's really pretty. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on that. Yeah, I think it's too gold for my skin and a little bit dark as well. I was really on the hunt for lip glosses as well. I just had like this vision of having like shiny lips like over my rural lip liner that I always wear. Like when I do a full face of makeup, it just would make your lips look so luscious. I don't know. So I got a few lip glosses. Kristen from Anastasia and Toffee from Anastasia as well. I got one more too, but let's wait. So this is Toffee and then this is Kristen. So this is definitely more pink and this one's more neutral. So I'm excited to try those ones out. And then I also got the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow. So that's what this one looks like. Should I just keep applying swatches on top of swatches? Hopefully you can see it. So this is the Fenty one. This is Kristen and then this is Toffee. So you can see that these ones are way more pigmented. This looks like just a little bit of a gloss that you can throw on over top but still see like your natural lip through it, you know? I feel like I'm just gonna have to have a day of trying on new makeups to see the consistency of how it looks on your face, like what it looks like on your hand versus your face, like the skin, you know? It's just like so much different. So I need to put it on my face and see like how it wears, pick out my favorite items from there and then try it with just my other makeup too to see like how they mix together. I think a few things already that I know I'm gonna end up returning is like, for instance, like this. And then also these like sticks from Lancome as well. Anyways, I'll link all the stuff down below for you guys if you are interested. A super fun little beauty haul. It's really rare that I do beauty hauls. I feel like on my channel, it's mostly just like clothes <laughs> and fashion. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this. If you have tried any of these items and like love them, let me know your thoughts on them down below or especially like anything that just didn't work out for you too always curious to see how it's worked out for all of you guys all right i think it's almost lunchtime, so i am going to order some lunch i think i want a salad and we'll just go pick up the salad and have that i've been trying to eat a little bit healthier it's been a real challenge for me i've been craving all the sweets under the sun like everything chocolate sour just like normal sweet can oh i want it all all the time cookies rice krispie treats i don't know what's wrong with me but let's order a salad and let's go pick it up let's see if there's anything emergency wise work related first and then we'll go do that <laughs> Girl, I am so hungry. <sighs> so if you guys live in the area, I don't know if it's in other states or not. All I know is it's like all over Washington. Well, at least the greater Seattle area. But if you guys live here, I went to Evergreens. It's a salad place that's scattered literally all over Seattle and on the east side as well. I ended up getting a cob your enthusiasm. So <laughs> I usually just create my own, but for some reason when I was ordering online on their app, they didn't, I like to add avocado to my salad. And for some reason that option wasn't there for me to select when I created my own salad. So the closest <laughs> that I found to like what I normally get that I could still customize was the cob your enthusiasm. So I get it in a bigger bowl so it's easier to mix, but I get romaine lettuce, garbanzo beans, red bell pepper, fresh mozzarella, avocado, bacon, hard-boiled egg, and I get a Caesar dressing. I shook it all up, but it's essentially all the goods. But I will toss it into my own salad bowl here. So I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna cut up the salad a little bit, like the romaine and everything in it. Just so it's easier to eat, you know? Ugh, I have a meeting in nine minutes. 
And I'm gonna take the dressing, pour, let's be real, majority of it in. And a little shake. These bowls are amazing, by the way. They're like the perfect size. I got these off of Amazon, I think like a year ago. I shared it in another vlog, but I'll link them down below for you guys. A little transfer. Yummy. So this is lunch for today. Yay. been sitting on the floor of my room all week but i got the align pants in black granite if you guys watch my lululemon haul video you would have heard me mention it but yay it came back in stock in the 25 inch inseam and i love this color so much so i picked it up of course <laughs> so much better i just need to fold this laundry this is just like a bunch of towels really but thank god that was a big mess okay so now that i fully clean my room let's destroy it again just kidding um no i have a zara haul i have tons of things i picked up from zara that i wanted to share with you guys it wasn't enough where i wanted to do like its own dedicated video really to no surprise you guys know this i've been on the hunt for blazers so i ordered like five million blazers just to like try them all on compare them um and all like that good stuff i did end up picking up a couple of other things as well so yes so this is an overview pretty much of all the things that i got i think there's like five blazers in here there's a button up there's a vest underneath it all so i figured this would be fun if it was like a true try on haul where i am trying on the pieces and talking through it at the exact same time so let's get the first blazer or the first item i don't have a mirror in here so you guys are gonna have to be my mirror <laughs> okay so the first one that i got was like a tuxedo type of blazer so it has like a satiny finish on the collar here and then everywhere else is just like a matte black so this one i do like and i'm just gonna keep like a very basic leggings and bralette underneath it just so that we can see the shape of the blazers so i like that this one does taper in at the waist it is a little bit longer it covers up my butt the sleeves are like a little long, so nothing new here. I would have to like get the sleeves altered a little bit. I don't think I'm a huge fan of like how much of a padded shoulder there is. Mm. The blazer is fully lined, but it doesn't look like 
I can rip out the padding myself. So I would have to like go take it to someone to rip it out. I did get this in a size extra small. It was $90. I think overall it's a really nice blazer actually. It feels like it's good quality. It's on the thicker side too, but the shoulders do bother me a little bit. Let's go to the next one. All right, we got this taupey brown colored one, extra small, and this was $130. Damn, so I think probably one of the most expensive ones out of all of them. It does have padding, like shoulder padding in it again, but this is fully lined, so I can't rip it out myself if it was to bother me. Let's see though. Okay, sleeves are long. Again, there is buttons on them, so I don't know how easy it would to get altered. That's kind of like how I would want them. This is a lot longer of a blazer too. It looks like it has a slit in the back. It's very oversized, but like a nice oversized, but damn, look at how thick this shoulder pad is. That's a bit insane, no? Do you guys think that that looks weird on me? I feel like it like goes like that, it goes out. Mmm, damn. I really like the color of this though. And it looks like it is single breasted. The pockets look like they're real, but they're like sewn up. Hmm, I don't know, let me know on this one. Of course the battery died. Okay, so next up is like a really nude colored one. This is in a size extra small. It was $70, that's a nice price. Fully lined yet again. There is some shoulder padding in this one as well. This one feels like bigger, like more oversized. It definitely is. It doesn't look like it has like any shape to it, so it definitely feels like a boyfriend blazer. It's long though. Um, so this would look actually really good, even like with this outfit. I really like it. Sorry, the camera keeps adjusting the lighting. It's auto adjusting. Sleeves are long. I don't know. What do you guys think about this one? I feel like because it's so oversized and boyfriend fit, the shoulder padding in this doesn't bother me like at all, but it's just very loose. So definitely need to wear something like more fitted like this underneath it to help balance out like how oversized it is too, I feel like. There's no buttons on this. So it would be easier to get the sleeves altered a little bit. Next. Okay, I think this is the exact same one as the last nude one, but it's just in black. I got it in a size extra small, $70. So good price, it's lined, shoulder padding. I feel like they all do at this point. Yeah, it has the exact same fit overall as the last one. Material is nice, it's like nice and thick. Lint's getting stuck to it a little bit. What is this, double breasted? I think I said the last one was single, but it is double. I don't know, guys, what do you think? What do you think? I think I like this one quite a bit. Same with the nude one. Like the shoulder padding isn't as aggressive and it just kind of like lays there a little bit better too. I like it. Another neutral colored one. This one's a lot lighter weight, extra small, 120 bucks. It's lined, no shoulder padding in this at all. Has a split in the back. Oh wow, yeah, this one's super light too. So if you live in a warmer climate, this one might be right up your alley or even like saving it for spring. This one seems like it has a drop sleeve. Um, you know what I mean? I don't like this. I wish it was a little bit more fitted there. I like the collar on it, I like the pockets, it's long. I don't know, I don't like this one because I don't like this. I like the color though, and I do like how lightweight it is too. Okay, last blazer up, it's a gorgeous green one. Got this in a size extra small, 120 bucks, fully lined yet again. There is, oh, very light shoulder padding, so barely any. This feels like good quality, it's heavy, feels really soft, oh. Hi. Sleeves are long. It does have buttons on them though. It's double breasted. It's really like long. It really goes past my butt. I wonder if you can get away with wearing this as a dress with like some high boots or something. That would be really cute. Really like the color of this. It's really gorgeous. It's a little bit fitted throughout here. You see how this one, the sleeve isn't as dropped as the last one. I like the fit of it a lot more. Yeah, this one's really cute. Super cute. Okay, I also got a button up. These like classic black and white pinstripe is very much like in style. I mean, it always is. It's a very classic look. Got this in a size extra small, $40. Such a good price. I think that this is gonna be oversized, which I want, but I don't want it to look like way too big. Oh, this is nice. 
I was worried, like, look at the sleeves. These actually, like, fit me. So it looks like they made it for a woman very much, where it's, like, oversized in the body without being, like, too oversized. Yet the sleeves aren't that long. They are, like, a tad long, but not, like, aggressively long, you know? This actually fits really nice. I like this. I have to figure out different ways I want to wear it, though, you know? The fabric is, it's not like soft. It has like, it's not, and it's not itchy either, but it has some like roughness to it a little bit, but it's okay. Look at, they even like kind of tapered in the sleeves a little bit so it's not like too big. I like that detail. This is cute. And last up, I got a vest. Love me some vests for the fall time. Extra small, $46. I thought that this wasn't gonna be like as green and kind of pukey as it is <laughs> yeah love it this fits really nice i just gotta see if i can get on board with the color you know it has pocket right here that's about it looks like this actually can adjust i like this let me know your guys' thoughts on everything especially out of the blazers let me know which ones were your favorites yeah like give me your top two favorites out of the blazers but yeah hope you guys enjoy this this is fun Good morning, it's Thursday. So I'm off to the mall to go pick up my alterations. I got like four pairs of pants altered, so I'm really excited to get them back. It's been a week. But I uh, last night I uploaded all of this footage and I started editing this vlog. Brace yourself, this is gonna be a long one. It's gonna be 40 minutes easily. So I really hope that you guys like long vlogs, but because I noticed how long it is, I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here, but I'm going to immediately start a new one. So I'll show you what I got altered and just continue the vlog into today and into the weekend as well. I'm definitely in a vlogging mood. I have no idea what I'm getting up to this weekend. Tomorrow my iPhone is actually being delivered. I need to plan some fall outfits, to like go take pictures and stuff like that. I have a lot of things that I would like to get done. So stay tuned for the next vlog. If you're not already, please make sure to subscribe. My goal is to hit 20k by the end of the year oh, So please help me get there. Thank you guys all so much for the love and support. I love you guys so much I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Love you